Good. I would like to demonstrate how to determine a similarity transform from two point pairs. And a similarity transform is if you have a fixed object here and you can move it by taking two points on the object, for instance, uh, the two corners here, and move them to a new location. And then the rest of the figure is uh, following along. So in this case, it should be scaled to to be a larger uh, structure than initially because the distance between the two objects are increased. And the, it should be rotated a bit. But otherwise, the uh, angles within the structure should be the exact the same thing. And one way of representing such a transform is if you have the original coordinates of uh, the point here. Let's call that for x and y. Um, then how they match to some new coordinates. Let's call them capital X and uh, capital uh, Y. So how these should uh, relate can be uh, determined by or specified by, by this equation here. So we have the x and y coordinates are given as a vector, which should be equal to a matrix, we'll just call it T for the transformation, that should be multiplied with a vector with a homogeneous uh, input coordinate. So we have the X, the Y, and a 1 to make it homogeneous. And by multiplying these things together, um, in a proper way, we should get the outcome of the point here. So now the question is, what is the structure of this uh, transforming uh, matrix? We can see it should be multiplied with a three by one matrix or vector, and the output should be a, a two by one. So the dimensions of this one should be, uh, sorry, two by three. So we have uh, the structure here. And the way we can figure out what these elements actually uh, describe um, will be to actually um, yeah, just uh, make this uh, calculation. But I'll try to show that it is actually composed of two parts, a rotation element multiplied with a scaling factor and a translation uh, part, which specifies how much should uh, the object be moved in addition to, to the rotation. And the structure of a, a standard rotation matrix, let's just call it R, will be to have the cosine of the angle you want to rotate, then sine of that same angle, minus sine of that angle, and finally cosine uh, of the angle. So that'll give you some kind of rotation. S is just a scalar. So it's just a, a single number. And T will be a, a change. Uh, yeah, let's me write it as a change in X and a change in, in Y, like this. Um, so let's see if we can put all of this together. So that will mean that T will be S times R, that is up here, so S times cosine of theta, and then S times sine of theta. I need to add these dots here. And similarly, minus S times sine of theta and S times cosine of theta. And then we have this uh, x offset and a similar y offset. So this is the structure of the T matrix. And to be able to determine such a similarity transform here, we should be able to figure out what S theta and delta x and delta uh, y delta uh, will be. Um, but they are a bit entangled right now, so I will change this s times cosine of a theta to a and s times sine of theta to b and this to c and this to d just to 
get a, a uniform way of, of structuring it. So now the matrix will render like this. We have A, we have B and C, we have minus B, A and D. So if we can determine these six values, then uh, uh, or these uh, four different values, we have our similarity transform. And the way to do that is to get two point pairs, which is which can be used to specify uh, the transformation. And uh, the point pair I will be using is that we have uh, x equals uh, 230 and y equals um, 1781. So this point should be mapped to, uh, yeah, I'm using the, the right notation here, to capital X, which goes to 100, and to capital Y, which goes to uh, 1600. So this is one point pair, and we have a additional uh, point pair where the X value is uh, 29, uh, 70, uh, 67, and y should be 12, uh, 97, and which should map to the points. Capital X should be um, 1900, and y should be um, 1600, like this. So. So let's see how we can, can utilize this. Um, this is a, the first point pair we'll be looking at, and this is the second point pair. Good. So now we have our structure of our transformation. We know how our transformation will look like, and we have some input and output coordinates. So now I would like to change this into two equations with uh, four unknowns and do the same thing with the second point pair. So we, in total, will have four equations and uh, four unknowns. So we'll just take this one and move down to, to here and then see what we can uh, fill out uh, with uh, this structure. Um, I'll just avoid doing this, in fact. So far, so good. Um, so what is uh, specified here is that our target coordinates states that we should end up at 100 and uh, that's for the first point. So 100 and 1600 should be the same as when we have this A, B, C, minus B, A, and D matrix multiplied with our initial uh, point. So 230 and 1781 and a 1. And by multiplying this out, we will get to the following. So the first equation will be 100, and then we have A times 220, so and then plus B times the, this one, plus C times 1, or just plus C, and similar for, for the next one. We have 1600, um, and then minus B times this one, so we have and then A times, and finally plus D. And this can be rearranged a, a bit. So we would like to have all the A parts, or all the contributions of A in the first column, then B, and then C and D. This can also be written in an extended uh, matrix form, where we have 
the first element of, of the matrix will be 230, then 1781, 1 and 0, and finally we have this uh, value of, of 100. And similar for the, this one, we have the coefficient to A on, on the first part, and the coefficient to B, like here, coefficient to C, which is not there, makes a zero and then the coefficient to d and finally we have the value of, of 1600 so now we have two equations with uh, four unknowns and we need to solve this but of course this is not enough um, we need two additional equations uh, so we can do the exact same thing from point two which will uh, give us uh, the following uh, thing down here. I'll just add it <coughs> uh, more or less uh, directly. So the x value is now uh, this one, 29. So we have 29, 67. Like this. And we have the y values, which were 12. 97 down 12 97 and we have this pattern of 0 and 1s over here and the target coordinates were the 2900 and 1600 so what we are missing uh, like to do now is just to stack these on top of each other and find a solution to this coordinate system and you could do that by hand, but uh, we might as well implement this in um, uh, NumPy or some similar uh, language. And actually, I have made a, a small program that takes a point pair and then generates these two uh, equations that are matching up. And I would like to, to show it to you. And the program is uh, given here. It's written in uh, Python using the NumPy toolbox or package. And what uh, happens is we have the, the main function where we specify our input coordinates. So we have the original coordinates that was specified here in, uh, in the video. And we also have the, the new positions. And then to see, to set up the equations, I pull out the image and object coordinates from these uh, values here and then insert them to this equation for uh, the x coordinate and for the y coordinate and when that's done um, I show the coefficients we have extracted, the constants, the values that have been determined and so on and finally we test the result on a known input vector to see if it gives us uh, what we want it to as, as output. And finally, we have this uh, equation for both the x-coordinate and, and for the y-coordinate, which are built uh, exactly as uh, the equation was uh, set up uh, here. You might notice uh, the pattern where we have the x-coordinate here on this part, then the y-coordinate here, and the one and zero, and the new x-coordinate. And for similar for the equation for the y coordinate, we have the y coordinate first minus the x coordinate, 0, 1, and the target y coordinate. And if we run this program, let's see what we uh, get uh, from this. We get the, the following matrix. So I'll just be shuffling a bit around here. Um, we can see that we have a matrix containing the exact same elements as the one here on the coefficient side for both point pairs, um, and we have our constant vector which is given here and by solving this system of equations uh, we get a solution where this should be the a value, this should be the b value and this is the translation uh, part. These can be restructured into a transformation matrix with this structure. 
And finally, we can test it by showing showing uh, one of the points through the system, and we can see that it comes out at the exact same location as we expected it to. And in fact, it was this calculation down here that has been taking place where we input this point in uh, homogeneous coordinates, and we get the 100 and 1600 uh, point out of this. So I hope this video gives you a bit of an overview of how to deal with um, with similarity transforms and similar transform uh, when you have a set of points and need to figure out exactly how the transformation is set up.